I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Herschel Supply Company Chapter Travel Kit, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So the Chapter Supply Kit actually comes in two sizes. This is the standard size and it is five liters, but there's also a carry-on size, which is basically like an inch smaller all the way around. So it's an inch shorter, an inch shorter that way, like an inch narrower all the way around. You get the drift. So um, the polyester fabric is it's very sturdy, rather coarse. You can hear it's a little scratchy. And while Herschel Supply Company doesn't mention that there's a water resistant coating, I went ahead and held it under the faucet just to see, and no moisture got in. So it at least has some level of protection from moisture getting into the bag and one would hopefully expect getting out of the bag. Um, We've got a little bit of, you know, branding here. We've got the patch and then um, the this zipper says Herschel. And then over here, there's a little like loop to make it easier to re-zip the bag. And right in front of it, more Herschel, okay? So then also when you're looking around this thing, you see we've got a little leather uh, pull on the zipper and these are GCC zippers. Not too familiar with the brand, but they did work fairly well. The main compartment one has this water resistant coating and when I did pour the water on top of it, it sort of beaded up on that water resistance. So that's kind of nice. And again, nothing got in. Obviously you're not going to take this, you know, swimming or whatever, because it you could still get some in the, you know, the end of the zipper, but I guess that's neither here nor there. What is uh, notable is we also have this very large carry handle, which is very convenient and you can kind of open it up and maybe pull something out at the end if you had it hanging up, but it's just a really, really large carry handle to go with the very large footprint of this bag. So as I mentioned, this does take up quite a bit of counter space because of its very broad base. Now that same broad base does allow it to stand nicely on its own even when it's not as fully packed as I have it now. But we're talking, you know, 42 square inches of of counter space that's being used up. And I use this primarily in a camper and so those countertops are really small. So are a lot of hotel countertops. So that's something you will have to keep in mind. Also, when you're packing this in a travel backpack, it's going to take up a lot of room. However, it does like, it will sort of compress and squish down if you don't fully pack it out. So if you don't need to use all five liters of space, you can probably manage to wedge it in. As for secondary compartments, we have, like I had shown you before, one separate uh, zipper section here. It's right on the front. And this zipper is not a um, water resistant zipper. However, it has this nice fabric welt protecting it. So if something splashes on top of it, nothing's gonna get inside. But I do have to say, and of course, on video, it never does this, but I ran into, oh, maybe, no. I ran into, it does get tend to get stuck a little bit at the end here, and I'm not quite sure why, but it's like almost opens all the way up, and if you, if you just sort of turn it this way and sort of push it, it definitely does. Just if you go to just quickly open it, it might stop about half an inch from the end. Just something to be aware of, not a deal breaker. I, Honestly, not sure what it's hanging up on, but that's that. Inside we have um, this, this pinstripe liner that you see on a lot of Herschel Supply Company products. Um, it's very nice because it's easy to see inside because it's bright. And then this pocket, 
like it's it looks shallow but you really have a lot of space and also it will push into the main compartment if you put something fatter in here i actually put some sunscreen bottles in there uh, when i was using it because it you know they were fatter and then that way they didn't maybe leak on my other stuff so that worked out then it does just potentially eat into the main compartment a little bit so you'll just have to you know play around with how you want to do it what it is also good for though is you can see I've got my a toothbrush in here. I've got both a travel size toothbrush, but also this is a travel toothbrush. You can take it off and cap it back up. But I wanted to show you a full size toothbrush does fit in here rather nicely. So if you wanted to put your toothpaste and toothbrush in here to keep them, especially your toothbrush away from other things that, you know, could make it dirty before you put it in your mouth, it's a good place to put that. All right, let's head inside the main compartment. When you're unzipping it, if you hold the carry handle, it makes it very easy to unzip, just as holding the loop makes it easy to zip it back up. So that's really awesome. You know, it opens very wide so you can see into it very easily and you can see i've just sort of tossed in a whole bunch of stuff here to sort of show you what how much space there is um, this is all travel size products but if you are not flying or you're going to put this in your checked luggage and you like uh, larger size bottles and whatnot you do have room to lay them down in here so that there's that feature which is kind of nice along the back panel and i'm going to pull out a few of these things just so they get out of the way so you can see it a little better there we go so along the back panel we have a a mesh pocket here and it's topped with elastic i did find now i have some really um, wide things in here, really, really thick bottles and a, a soap container here. Now, what I did find when I was using it, I had neatly stacked up all these nice little, you know, thinner travel size bottles. And when I got to my destination, they were all laying on top of each other like they had not stayed that way. They didn't fall out of the pocket, but they didn't stay the way I packed them. So you are gonna want to put, you know, maybe more than you think in this pocket to maintain the tension so that everything stays how you want it, if that bothers you. It annoyed me just because I had gone to all the trouble of stacking it all up and then it wasn't there after traveling, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. I just stood it all back up and there you go. Like I said, if you have if you have wider bottles, thicker bottles, it works out like that. Then the rest, I mean, we've just got open space here. So you can see I was able to fit a whole lot of stuff in there. But as you can see, you know, if you're looking for a specific like makeup brush or whatever, things are gonna jostle around in transit and you're gonna have to be digging you know, for what you're looking for potentially. Now, if you're like packing a lot of gear or you're packing for yourself and a travel companion or something, you can probably wedge everything in here really well to where it wouldn't jostle around. But for the most part, I did find myself sort of digging through to find what I needed and stuff. It's not a deal breaker and some people, some people prefer that, some people, that's what you're looking for. You don't want all these different pockets because maybe the pockets don't fit your gear anyways. So it is nice from that standpoint. Obviously, it doesn't really matter what size gear I've got. I can fit it all in and then, you know, and still have, I still have room for a lot more stuff. I just got, I was like, how much stuff do I really need to put in here, right? Um, so if, if you are that type of person or you're going on a long trip or you just need to bring a whole lot of toiletries, this might be for you. If on the other hand, you don't bring a lot or you really like having everything in a different uh, little slot, you know, obviously this one just doesn't have a ton of organization. So there you have it. The Herschel Supply Company Chapter Travel Kit. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.